Hey everybody, this is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I wanted to share a journal, well, it's kind of a journal. It's really probably a flow journal because it's full of things to use. And it is just fun to hold just like this. I, I love it. <laughs> I love to try making different things and just starting with something little and see what it grows into. And this is basically a larger fabric journal than the other ones I've been making recently. And it is tied with some sari silk that was wrapped around and around. All of these fabric pages are hand stitched together with uh, embroidery thread. On the very front you can see this beautiful fabric and some boho uh, trim. That's from an Indian dress that I had. and. This is a little charm that I believe I got this when I had my retail shop. I had a whole, um, it's got a piece of paper stuck to it. I had a, um, a whole container of things like this. Uh, a lot of times, and I'll share this, one of the really fun things about having a shop where I was dealing in vintage, especially clothes. I had a lot of vintage clothing, especially stage type things, uh, like dresses from the 20s and the 40s, and you know, a lot of really fun things from the 50s. I had a friend who shopped with me, and she is a singer in a local group, and she loved to come in and get like the 20s style things, different beautiful long slips that I had, slips that were so ornate that you really could wear them as, as a dress. You know, not something sheer or see-through, but just something really gorgeous. And, um, you know, put a, a really vintage, beautiful lace shawl or something over it and add the right jewelry and the right shoes and... She was, she was a stage performer, and she sang like jazz and that type of music, so it was perfect. But then, like from the 50s, I had a lot of really cute things like sundresses, little skirts, and things that, that other groups of people would be looking for. Anyway, and I had a lot of steampunk and gothic vintage items as well. But getting back to this charm, one of the fun things about having a vintage vintage shop is that people start hearing that you're there and that you buy things. So I had several people to come in through those couple of years that I had the shop and they would bring um, estates or parts of estates thinking that I might want to buy them and I would go through everything and give them a price and I had quite a few things like this that came in just in bits and pieces and then by the time I left I had a lot of things like this. So I think this is where this little charm came from and I turned it into a bead charm the way I do the little wires and add the bead at the top. Anyway, this is wonderful to hold. It feels so good. It is so tactile. Jason just got through looking at it and he said the same thing. It's just, it's just really tactile. It's wonderful. So every page is fabric. And then within each fabric envelope, I've made a little envelope out of cardstock. And each one of these is filled with paper and ephemera to be used. I have a lot of wallpaper scraps from cutting up the wallpaper uh, recently for, you know, the 30-page the order that I've been doing on sale. But, like, this pocket has that beautiful playing card. I love these. I wish I could find a whole set of these. And then you can see there are just pretty pieces of wallpaper. There are some stamped images that you can pull out and use. And, again, look at the bird. And I believe, yep, there's another one right behind it. So there is a lot of really nice wallpaper in here, cut up in sizes that can be used for pockets or tabs or to make mini journals. You could make tags out of these. Wallpaper is really, really fun to work with. So let's slide that back in there. 
I won't pull out the whole envelope on each one. Oh, and this is adorable. I made a tiny little file folder with a, a punch that Alejandrina sent to me recently, and I'm, I have the video, I'm working on the video to share the happy mail that she sent, and it, oh, I just love it. It's so appreciated, and I've already loved using that stamp. So that is, that little file folder is there. And, this, well, it's probably easier to pull this out because the pockets are pretty full, and they're really snug once you put them in there. Again, it is just all kinds of ephemera. There's a lot of wallpaper in here. So all of that is wallpaper. And then we have this pocket. There are some little playing cards with soldiers. This is from a game. Another stamped image and more beautiful wallpaper. Quite a few pinks in this one. And what is in this one? So a few more stamped images. There are quite a few postcards in this one. Look at the back of that one. Look at all the stamps. And you can see as well um, all of the pretty fabric. And while we're at it, there are some gorgeous charms in this one. And they are pinned on with these large gold safety pins. Um, they're kind of expensive in the fabric store, but I recently came upon quite a few of them and I just love using them I think they're really pretty and while we're at it there's just pretty much a charm like this on every page here in this one you can see there are a couple of beautiful vintage bridge cards have the birds on them and some more those are some vintage pages from a um, bridge a scoring book more wallpaper behind there and each one of these pockets I did is stamped with birdsong and some sort of image. There is a postcard of Frida Kahlo and more wallpaper. And there's another pocket and another beautiful charm. We'll look at all the charms in just a minute. This little um, card was in the Happy Mail from Alejandrina. She sent me quite a few of these, and I've never had any of these. I'm thrilled to have them. There's just a blank card from one of my stamps, another postcard, and some beautiful green and gold wallpaper. And of course, you can see the fabric behind each one of these pages. There's a butterfly sewn onto that page. It's just really pretty. And once you use everything in this, and you could, you could just use it for this over and over again. Put your little bits of ephemera in here, and this could be a go-to for little things like this. Some tickets, more wallpaper, another stamped image. And this was a really fun journal to make. You can see there's another beautiful charm ready to be used. There is a sheet of stamps here with um, flowers. There are some vintage VFW stamps and some vintage Christmas stamps. And there is a little recipe card. Again, Alejandrina sent me several of these. And there is one of the Frida postcards again and a beautiful little piece of paper. Uh, Alejandrina sent me a whole pad of that. And I may tuck in a few more bits of things before this goes out the door. I have a hard time stopping when I get started on something like this. And you can see the kind of the quilting on these, this double layer at least, everything. There's some wallpaper pieces, several pages from a vintage book about insects. And then behind that, 
We have some pages from a little plant book. Talks about gardens and such. And a little bookmark. He who plants a tree plants a hope. So there is all of that. And then in this one, this is a gorgeous bead. Oh my goodness, that, um, that was at the bead shop. All of these were. So they're just really nice beads. This one has a vintage postcard. It's a really old one, 1910. Some more beautiful wallpaper pieces. Great for pockets or tabs. And there's an envelope. right down in there. I don't want to mess anything up. And then in this one, and you can see this beautiful fabric back here. Let's see the other side of this. Well, maybe it's a different piece. There's one in here that I think is really, really pretty. Well, it's all pretty, but we'll find it. I think it's on the other side of this back over here oh yeah it's this um I love this I love that fabric I would like to have a whole bolt of that fabric but I only have a small piece and most of it is in this in journal how far were we there we were so in this one we have another vintage postcard that one just has a name. It's not postmarked. It looks to me like it's early 1900s as well. There's a postcard with a little piece of lace across the top. Here are some botanical cards. And a piece of paper from a book about vintage, vintage transportation methods or modes. More beautiful wallpaper and some more cards. There's a postcard, another card, and then I stamped that on there because this has postage stamps in it. So, I think that's everything in there. Just got a few little stamps to be used in your journals. So slide that back. So this goes in the back, and then let's put this back the way it was. Put that beautiful rose on the top. I like to put things so that they look pretty. And this is the last part of it. And this thing is so packed. It lays really flat when you're when it's empty. There is another old postcard. Someone had taken the stamp off of this, but it is 1907 and it has just got this amazing handwriting on it. And here are some more pieces of wallpaper with the birds. You know I love birds. So when I see them, I pretty much collect them. And I did save some of this for myself to be able to make some more bird journals. And in this last one, this is really neat. Here are some negatives. I pulled one out. The um, It's got a really old car in it, so I know they're pretty old. And it's still got the little film sleeve with it. This is an old, um, I, I think this might be some type of photocopy, and it almost looks like something from microfilm, but the date on the original communication is um, December 10th, 1943, and it is a communication from or to a veteran, someone who was enlisted at the time. And here are just some vintage cards. There's the front of a vintage card, and that is everything at this point. There's my little cloth tag that says Birdsong, and we're at the back. Well, let me show you the charms. This one has three beads, and they're all connected. You've already seen the one on the front. 
this is a pretty cross-shaped charm that almost looks like mother of pearl and it may be I had an old necklace that had a lot of these on it so I took them all off and that has just been used as a charm and then this is one that I made it's got beads from rare earth beads the same with this one and this one I love that light pink bead in the middle it's got kind of metallic look in the center. And then it's, there's another one of those in blue. I don't know if you can see how that shimmers. You turn it different ways. That is the Fabric Flow Journal full of ephemera. I am going to be listing that in just a few minutes. So it will be available in the shop. I really appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.